Uh, tell us your name and uh, and where you work. Uh, Dan Delahanty with Dime Community Bank. Welcome. So, gentlemen, speak a little bit to, about the future. Um, maybe five or ten years out, what sectors are you excited about, and uh, maybe what sectors are you potentially concerned about that that needs some attention? It, I think one of the changes you're going to see, and, and this may be part of congestion pricing, and we talked about mixed use on a micro basis in a building, for instance. I think what you're going to start to see is some of the uh, some of the purveyors of different goods and services that are focused on Manhattan. When people are more reluctant to come into Manhattan, I think you might start to see some of the luxury brands and restaurants and other types of things that you generally associate with Manhattan, uh, theater and uh, art, you know, performing arts. You may start to see them pop up in the Bronx and in Queens. That, that's As, a good thing, though. I'm, I'm okay with the Bronx. No, no, no I, I, I'm okay. That, that may be. I don't think people are looking at it that way. But, uh, you know, communities tend to adapt. And I think what's but, going to happen is it's going to be bad for Manhattan because fewer people will come into Manhattan and the business community will evolve and they'll start to respond to it. And you'll start to see some of the things that are usually associated with being in Manhattan, you're going to start to see them popping up in the outer boroughs. 